You can now upload and edit your own photos using the AI image editor in Midjourney, which includes expanding the borders, inpainting in specific objects, and even upscaling the resolution of your own photos. There's also a new retexture feature, which lets you take an existing image and paint over it while preserving the structure of the original photo. The new image editor is in this edit page on the left. Go to edit new image, and now we can upload our own photos. I'll use this photo of myself in Vancouver. What I don't like about this photo is that I'm off center. I'd like to extend the borders a bit. Let's drag these sliders to expand the image. You can use this move and resize tool to drag the original photo around or change the relative size of it. I'll leave it like that. And then in the prompt, we need to say what we want to be filled in the expanded area. So I'll go with Vancouver city at night. Let's submit the edit. Midjourney generates four different options for you that you can navigate in this menu bar. If we want to inpaint specific objects in a region of the image, we can use this erase tool on the menu bar to select a part of the image to fill in using AI. So in this case, I'll block out this region to the right side of me and inside the prompt, ask for a gigantic tall dog. After you're done editing the image, use this upscale to gallery button which will upscale the resolution of the image and also send it to your regular workspace. So if we go to the Create tab, we can find the upscale photo right here. Right now, you can't use any of these other features with the photo like creating variations or editing it more. It's still a new feature, so there's a lot of restrictions attached. One cool application of this is like a magic brush to remove unwanted objects in a photo. Here's me at a waterfall. There's a couple of arms and hats in the image that don't need to be there. So let's erase those and in the prompt just ask for a waterfall. And we'll get a nice clean image with just me inside of it. You can also change up your attire. I added myself wearing a necklace. As far as interface, you can use a restore button to undo any parts of the image you've erased by painting over it again. Undo or redo whatever mistakes you've made. We can change the size of the brush to make it smaller for finer details or larger to cover bigger areas. You can scale the size of the photo up and down to fit in the area you need and also enforce a specific aspect ratio whether you want a vertical or horizontal picture. You can also create mock-ups of paintings or other products you have. If we upload this image of an oil painting and expand the borders a bit, right about there looks good, and then try a prompt like mock-up photo of a painting in a modern living room. There's plants and rays of light through a window in the afternoon. It fills in the rest of the image with a cozy living room. Here's a couple of things you should know. There is quite a bit of moderation and censorship with this new tool. Anything that changes the appearance of a person seems to be out of bounds. I wasn't able to change the hair color or hairstyle of these pictures. In this case, I tried to remove the background and replace it with a beach, and it wouldn't let me do that either. So they're playing it very safe with this feature release. By the way, to look at all your image edits, use this view all button here and you can browse through all of your previous photos. The second big update is a new retexture feature, which lets you take an existing image and paint over it to change the lighting, materials, and surfaces. If you've been using Midjourney for a while, you know it struggles a lot to get these specific tilted angle shots of a person. So we'll use this photo and select the retexture page of the image editor. Inside the prompt, I'll ask for a new character. This time, a photo of a man with red curly hair. His eyes are glowing orange, in the background there's flame, sparks, fire. And we capture that iconic tilted angle with a new character. Now this is a useful tool for getting those impossible camera angles and the closest thing we'll get to pose control. But you can also use it to paint over sketches and get a variety of different styles. Right now this feature is still a new release. So if you've generated over 10,000 images, are a yearly subscriber, or have been subscribed consecutively for the last 12 months, you'll have access to it. Otherwise, they're still slowly rolling it out to other new users. I guess all the recent competition with the Flux models has forced Midjourney to make some updates that we've been asking for a while. If you want to learn how to turn your Midjourney images into incredible looking AI videos, go and take a look at this tutorial over here.